This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'm Cindy Harris and tonight I'm making a pasta with artichokes to go along with my roast chicken for dinner. This pasta is really great. It's almost thick like a ragu and it has great artichokes and tomatoes and fresh basil. We're going to start by getting some onion chopped up. So I have a small onion and I'm going to chop it up till it's really fine. I start by running my knife through it once and then I gather the onion together and I just start running my blade through it, breaking those pieces up finer and finer. And then right on top of my onion, I'm gonna mince one clove of garlic. Now over here at the stove, I have a large saute pan on medium heat and I'm gonna put, oh, just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in the pan, let that heat up. And then I'm going to add my onion and my garlic. Now I'm going to let this cook on a very slow heat for about five minutes. I really don't want the onion to brown. I just want it to soften. Now I'm going to get the rest of my ingredients together. I have two 14 ounce cans of artichoke hearts and these are in water and I've drained the water off. I'm just going to leave them in the can. They're in these nice quarters and that'll be perfect. Then the next thing I have are three nice tomatoes. For this dish, I want to use all of the tomatoes. So I'm going to just take that little core out, cut them in half, and then cut them in fourths, and then just run my knife through them, making sort of a rough chop. I'll move my tomatoes over to this side of the board, and I've got some fresh basil out of the garden. I'm going to get some nice big leaves, and I'm going to take the leaves and gather them together in a little pile like this. And then I'm just gonna roll it up. And then I'm gonna take my knife and just slice it really thinly. So this is about, oh, two to three tablespoons of fresh basil. Now my onion is nice and soft. So I'm gonna take and put in my tomatoes, my basil, my artichokes, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And I'm gonna stir that all up. Now at this point, I'm gonna turn my heat up to a medium high. I'm gonna add a half a cup of a dry white wine. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. And I'm just going to let this simmer away for about 20 minutes. Now after about five minutes, I'm going to turn the heat down to medium and uh, just slow the cooking down just a little bit and uh, let it continue on for the last 15 minutes. Now during the last five minutes of cooking, you're going to see that a lot of the wine and the juices from the tomato have evaporated, which is great. That's what we want. We want these uh, flavors to just get really intense. So during the last five minutes, do keep an eye on this. If you feel you need to turn the heat down a little bit, go ahead. But it should just continue to simmer real slowly like this. So tonight I'm serving this with some roast chicken. So let me show you how I'm gonna serve it. I'm gonna start by getting some of my pasta that I cooked. And then I'll take a nice big spoonful of that artichoke with the tomato. And then I like to put a little sprinkle of some shaved Parmesan cheese on top. And then if you'd like for garnish, you can put just a little bit of basil that you had left over. 
Now, if you'd like to try this pasta with artichokes at home, just go to our website and go to the on the side show notes, and I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.